I'm too good. I'm too good for you guys. Yeah! I don't even have to look. I'm just too good at this game. Oh! Oh, I totally botched that. Oh. You didn't see that. That, that. that never happened. Never happened. Hey guys, welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now, I understand that Arcade 1UP has released some information about the new cabinets that they're going to be coming out with soon. And there's going to be four cabinets and one virtual pinball machine. The first one would be the Big Buck Hunter cabinet, which is a light gun shooting cabinet, which seems pretty interesting if, you're, if, you, if you like deer hunting kind of stuff. But it includes the game's Big Buck Hunter Pro, Big Buck Hunter Pro Open Season, Big Buck Safari, and Big Buck Safari Outback. Now, I kind of expect the price for this to be $4.99. I don't think they've actually made an announcement yet about that, but I kind of think it'll be $4.99 based on the fact that it has, you know, separate guns and, and it's a weird license and a weird uh, design for the cabinet. But uh, if you like that kind of game, it looks pretty interesting. And also, I'd be curious to see how people uh, mod it. I mean, it'd be kind of neat if you could turn it into a I don't know, like a Terminator 2 cabinet. Shout out to my friend Sean. Or maybe uh, a mechanized attack or a Area 51 cabinet maybe. I don't know, that'd be kind of cool if you could turn it into something else. But personally, this one doesn't really interest me because you know I've never really been into the Big Buck Hunter series of games. I'm sure that Arcade 1UP has done their market research and that this will probably sell like hotcakes, much like the Golden Tee Golf one did. If you're interested in this game, then maybe you should check it out. All right, the next cabinet is the Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes cabinet, and it includes the games Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of the Superheroes, and Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. And I expect the price on this one to be $3.99. It kind of looks like your regular cabinet that Arcade 1UP has been doing for a while. And you can see that both this cabinet and also the Big Buck Hunter cabinet have a, a riser along with it. I don't know if they include a stool along with it. I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything else about that or not, but I'm going to check that out after this video. Just double check. And if so, then I'll put a big yes or no right here on the screen. And most of the games on this particular Marvel vs. Capcom cabinet are one-on-one -on -one fighting games, much like Street Fighter, much like Mortal Kombat. Of course, this is with all the Marvel characters, and it's all a very cartoony style, so it looks very interesting if you're into those particular games. I personally, I don't think I would get this cabinet. This kind of doesn't really interest me. If you're really big into those games, then you may want to check it out. All right, the next cabinet on my list is the Miss Pac-Man cabinet. And honestly, this is the one that's probably most interesting to me because, you know, I'm more of a classic gamer and those are the kind of games that I enjoy the most. And this cabinet is going to include Miss Pac-Man herself, Galaxian, Pac-Man Plus, and Pac-Mania. Now, again, I kind of expect the price on this one to be $3.99. That seems to be what they've been doing lately. So they're including risers and lit up marquees and things like that now. So I can understand where the price might have gone up just a little bit. Now you may wonder why did they put Galaxian on here instead of Galaga because Galaga is a much more popular game. Well, Arcade 1UP's not going to put two really super popular titles on the same cabinet. They're going to try to mix it up and try to get you to buy as many of them as possible. And you know, that's an understandable strategy. But truthfully, Galaxian is kind of a lost classic in my mind. I mean, it's been completely overshadowed by Galaga, but it's still a great game. I, I really enjoy Galaxian and the sounds in that game are just iconic. <laughs> As for Pac-Man Plus, it's kind of an upgraded version of Pac-Man. There's a few weird things that happen when you eat power pills and you eat the, the bonus, I guess, cola right there in the center. The ghosts disappear and some other weird things that happen just to make the game a little more challenging. So if you're looking for a more challenging Pac-Man, then Pac-Man Plus may be the game you're looking for. And then finally is Pac-Mania, which is a... 3D-esque kind of Pac-Man game that, I don't know, I don't think it really took off in popularity, but um, it's, it's kind of an interesting take on Pac-Man. The, the cool thing about Pac-Mania is that you can actually jump over the ghosts, so it, it adds a little twist to the game. Okay, next is the Marvel Pinball Machine. Now this actually seems pretty interesting to me, although I don't know where I would put it here in the game room, but 
Yeah, I would really love to have a, a virtual pinball table, Chris. If you want to get me one, help me out. That'd be great. And I haven't been able to find too many details about the actual game that's going to be on here. Hopefully there's more than one. I'm thinking two or three at least has got to be on this pinball cabinet. But it's going to have Zen Studios Marvel pinball game at least. And the table, from what I can tell, looks pretty good. And also it's got like a seven inch uh, display screen for, you know, the score and stuff like that. And I believe that's animated. Also the main table itself is supposed to be uh, 24 inches, a screen recessed down in there so it looks more like an actual pinball play field and it's got a fake coin door right in the front here where you, I guess you push the button to add coins and it has haptic feedback buttons which I think is kind of interesting I mean even a real pinball machine doesn't have haptic buttons do they <laughs> and you can nudge it uh, has an accelerometer built into it so you, you nudge the ball a little bit that'll be that'll be kind of interesting how they uh, how they make that work and I kind of expect the price for this I hope it's not more than $4.99 I really that you know you make it 600 it might be might be kind of pushing it so 499 is is what i'm expecting that that price to be i, I could be totally off i don't know we'll just have to wait and see but uh, yeah i i would really love to have a virtual pinball machine all right the last cabinet on the list is the x-men versus street fighter cabinet and again it's got more fighting games on there. We've got X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes, X-Men Children of the Atom, and X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. Uh, this is another one that I expect to be $3.99. You know, if these games appeal to you, then that may be something that you look into. Personally, I'm, I'm a little bit further back in time when it comes to these kind of games. My fighting game history kind of ends at Mortal Kombat 3 and maybe Mortal Kombat 2. But hey, the games look good. They look fun uh, from what I can tell. And if you enjoy those kind of games then it may be something that you want to look into and no doubt that arcade one up has done their homework on these games and hopefully they'll sell well so that we can continue to get more arcade one up units from them one of them that I would really love to have would be a Tron arcade cabinet uh, if you're listening arcade one up that would be that would be great also another one that I would love to see someday would be the Donkey Kong cabinet although I, I don't I don't think that'll ever happen, but it's it's fun to dream. It's fun to dream. All right, so what did you think about the Arcade 1UP cabinet announcement from a couple of days ago? Did these cabinets appeal to you? Is it something that you think you'll buy? What other cabinets do you think they could have released that, that would have been of more interest to you? Go ahead and leave your comments down below. All right, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I gotta take on some more ghosts now. Coming for you, Blinky. Coming for you. Oh wait, I gotta hit the right button. Just Blinky, that's the only one I want. The red one. The rest of you can live. I just want Blinky. Gonna get him? Yes. Don't ever mess with the pack. He got me back. <laughs>